Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I am back with a quick little project share. This is really just going way too far using up all the scraps. <laughs> but I did want to share with you in case you're somebody as stingy with paper like me. But okay, so I have these cards here. We're going to take this one out. Um, so I made these cards. Set this one over here for the moment because we'll do that one together. Now, if you can't tell, these are little bitty note cards. They are, what, three and three quarters? I think like three and three quarters by almost three. Okay, wait. Three by three and three, wait, I keep doing that wrong. Yeah, three and three quarters. So all this is, as you can see how shiny the actual paper is. Um, and just so you guys can see, these are all from the cover sheet of the card kits that I get from Country Craft Creations. They're the Simple Stories card kits, but I have done it with, I think every card kit I think they make cute little mini cards and like here is just a sample of like the directions from the simple stories version I still say you could cut those out and make those little like ephemera pieces but um let me see I have one I just see it right here so my next one I'm gonna do because I just love this collection um, is this one this is the color palette essentials color palette collection so this will be my next card kit and like I said sometimes I do them exactly as they are in the kit sometimes I will level them up sometimes I will cut them and add different layers it just depends but usually from trying to get it so there's not so much glare from a card front um, or a cover sheet on the card kits you could get four, you know, good cards. So um, this one is full, this one's full, this one's full, and this one's full. These other ones are not full, but that doesn't mean you can't come in and, and get a little something out of there to go like in a another um, card folio or little mini something. I'm just saying, there's there's stuff to work with here. This could, you could cut this out and make this an actual cover of a mini album and then use your scraps. From the collection for the inside there's just lots of things to do I just say don't throw away your cover sheets use them why not um, so obviously you guys can see there's a really simple I just find there's there was four of these and I have one that it got a little wet when I was going to decorate so I'm just waiting for it to dry to make sure that it actually still will look good on the actual card base um, and I do plan to make just like four little envelopes with each little cluster and just might gift them, you know, like that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but this was the most recent card kit I did. So all it is, I just got some scratch, um, a scratch, scrap cardstock from my stash. And then we are just going to... Put that on now I do like to do um, like you could do glue but I would only I don't I didn't do glue on any of these I did like a tape runner just because this is really light I don't want the glue to seep through and you to see it kind of rippling so I for sure would not do it on that and then here I didn't do it just because I don't want to warp this paper not that that always happens but I'm just gonna do, and I know I put way too much adhesive on my projects. I like things to stay in place. But when doing like cards and scrapbook layouts, people don't use that much stuff. I'm just like, oh, I can't do that. I don't wanna fall apart if I gift it to somebody. So I'm just eyeballing very crookedly. Oh, it's gonna stick down too. You can do, you know, the runner plus glue if you want to. This is just a really quick, 
project and my phone keeps ah, I gotta move it sorry guys hopefully it's still recording because I have been recording non-stop and I can't tell um yes I've been recording non-stop and so my battery is definitely holding on for dear life so just putting adhesive on the outside it's just hard I gotta hold it okay that's not working very well right there and just coming and again I just kind of crinkled that up a little bit just centering it make sure you know where your opening is so the um, I guess I should tell you guys each one's going to be different so you have to you know measure the one you cut out like I just showed you guys that card kit those are bigger than these these just all happen to be the same size so my base piece is six by three and three quarters and then I like an eighth of an inch gap um, a gap an eighth of an inch border I should say really it's sixteenth of an inch I cut everything less an eighth of an inch so if this is three by three and three quarters my blue is two and seven eighths by three and five eighths then this piece because I measured this first is two and a half nope not two and a half what is that I forgot what measurements we are on two and five eighths by three and a half should be i'm just double checking yep three and a half so you know you have that now you could take this further and take another just scratch piece and let's do it on this one since we have a red border here and i just i have the same size matting as i do on the front with the red and then I just cut a white piece to be just a little bit smaller so we can have something to um, write on. And then if you have extra pieces, which we do from that card kit, you can add those on the inside. Let's see, I can't see this way. Make sure there isn't, I can see I have some tape coming out behind. Okay. I just think these make a cute little gift or just to have in your stash. And if you just need to slip somebody a cute little note, say you're thinking of them. Um, you know, all that good stuff. So these were all extra things. All these things. So we might want... You know, and you could even come in, I don't know, let's see. That might be too big. That one's too big. But to add to the front of these. So this is our little lemony. I'm just kind of seeing what we have. So I think I'm just going to do a little butterfly or flower. Which one do we want? Let's just drop this flower because I'm not going to be able to use this anywhere. It doesn't go with my papers. Okay, I'm just gonna glue that down. Why did I put my glue back there? And again, it's just a little, a little something. Okay, hold on a sec. So just putting a little adhesive on that. Can we do it this way? I could put a little bumblebee. Just want to make sure. That one looks ripped. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it up there. No, nope, we're going to do a little heart. <laughs> You guys, this is what I do all the time. I cannot make up my mind ever. Ever. Okay. So we'll just put a little boop up there. You know, just a little something. 
You don't have to do it on all of them. You don't have to do it at all. But why, I mean, why waste all this? You have all these extras, so you might as well put it to use. Okay, so that is just a little something I want to share with you guys using up all things. But a cute, I mean, it's just making a cute little project. Getting those scraps out. I do like a good mat on the inside. This feels so much better than holding this one with nothing. Just feels flimsy and blah. Ah, this feels sturdy. <laughs> but there you guys go. Just remember to take a peek at those cover sheets. Um, a lot of times there is some good use out of those babies. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you like this quick little project share. More stuff coming your guys' way this month. And thank you so much for all the support and love. I will have um, the card kit linked below. If um, I don't know when I'm going to be posting this. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but just know. <laughs> Country Craft Creations, I will have the link in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye.